Rick, thank you so much for being with us here today. So give us an update on Forum Uranium. What's happening there? Well, Forum Uranium uh, has been uh, searching in the Athabasca Basin for a deposit since uh, 2004. We focused in shallow areas of the basin so that uh, any potential discovery would be near surface. We've uh, got five drill-ready projects. One around uh, is, is adjacent on trend with the uh, next-gen and fission uranium discovery uh, in the western Athabasca. And also in the west we have uh, a joint venture, uh, the Northwest Athabasca joint venture over the Maurice Bay deposit, which is a small uranium deposit with uh, Cameco, Arriva and NextGen. In the east, we have 100% ownership of the Fur Island project, which is uh, one of our more exciting projects. We're really looking forward to getting a chance to drill that uh, in the future. Further to the south from Fur Island, along the Wollaston Belt, which is the key uranium producing district in the Athabasca, we have a joint venture with Rio Tinto on our Hende project. And then finally, uh, right next to the Key Lake Mill, we have the Key Lake Road project, which is another 100% owned project by Forum. So Rick, you were saying you've been in uranium for years now, since the 1970s, and you've been with Forum for, or you founded Forum quite a while ago. Yeah. Why uranium? What is it that attracts you to uranium in particular, especially when a lot of people have gotten out of it in the past? I've always been a big believer in nuclear energy. Well, half the world loves uranium. China's uh, developing a nuclear industry like crazy, growing like the United States did in the 70s. Uh, that's what's going on in China. The other half of the world seems to be very um, a skitterish about uh, nuclear energy, uh, which is unfortunate because I believe it's the cleanest source of power uh, known to man. It's interesting, we're here at Cambridge House and actually we're speaking as there's a talk going on now saying, is uranium the next bull market? Do you think that the the investors are waking up to the fact that the uranium fundamentals are strong? You know, finally, uh, what's, what's happened in the uranium market is some supply discipline has come into the market. Cameco announced the closure of the MacArthur River mine. That took that supply off of the market. The um, Kazakhs have reduced their production in Kazakhstan. That's taken that uranium off the market. And these are the kind of things that need to happen for uranium to come back into balance. And when it comes back into balance, I believe that investors are going to uh, come back into the uranium industry with a uh, with a vengeance. So your outlook for uranium is, is fairly positive over the next year or so? You know, the, the, a number of analysts that follow the industry uh, suggest that uh, it take it could take a year, could take two years, could take five years. I, I honestly don't know. What I do know is that we have quality exploration projects. Uh, we're going to uh, maintain those assets and when it turns around we're going to be ready. We're going to have five drill-ready projects uh, to explore. So Rick, what do Forum's shareholders have to look forward to over the next little while? During this uh, slow period uh, in the uranium market, uh, we, we've been uh, just uh, working on all of our projects to maintain uh, the claims. Uh, we haven't been doing a, a lot of uh, drilling uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, because it just would have raising that money at this time period would have been way too dilutive. So, so what we've been doing is, is small programs where they're needed on the five different projects. And uh, for this year, um, uh, we're doing uh, some geophysics, uh, extending our geophysics on our 100% Maurice Point project, which is uh, adjacent to the Northwest Athabasca joint venture uh, property. Well, Rick, thank you again for taking the time to speak with us today. Thank you.